Let's craft an Ellie Tornado Shot Bow from scratch, worth 100 divine or more. The bases are cheap, cost about 10 C. You want a spine bow. You want it to be eye level 86 or higher. It takes forever to alteration spam, but we're alteration spamming for bow attacks, fire two additional arrows. Now I'm getting four affixes right now using Regal and Exalt, and we're going to use a Fracturing Orb and hope we hit. It's a 1 in 4 chance to hit the bow attacks. We failed on our first attempt, had to start over. Took me 1,800 alterations the first try. It took me about 200 the second try. I got lucky. These are 9 Divine each, each Fracturing Orb, so very expensive. I got it on my second attempt. Beautiful. Make sure it's eye level 86. It has to be to hit that mod. Now, the next step, of course, is to get quality up and use a Gilded Fossil. Now, I hit it on my very first try, which was crazy. It made me pause 30% quality on my very first try. I had lots of perfect fossils ready, but I got very lucky there. Now, we do the painful process of six linking, right? I don't use my Benchcraft to six link. I always manually do it. I can click pretty fast because I've been practicing that kind of finger movement on your girl. Six linking sucks, but so does your girl. Alright, we finally got it. Now at this point, what do we do? Well, I got an omen of blanching, and we want to give it white sockets. I got one white socket, that was not good enough. I wanted three white sockets, so I had another omen ready. And we got three white sockets. So it's prettier, it sells better. Now at this point, you can use Deafening Essences of Hatred, Wrath, or Anger. We're rolling for Fire, Cold, or Lightning. And um, it guarantees it each hit, so of course we're rolling for Tier 1 of one of the others. And this could be expensive, because Essences are not cheap. But we keep going until we get a tier 1. Do not settle for tier 2 at this stage. Okay, eventually we got here. Tier 1 lightning and the essence fire. Now we need to get cold on there. So how do we do this? We do prefixes cannot be changed. It's pretty painful what we have to do. We go to the hoarder crafting bench and we're going to reforge with a cold modifier. This can be cold damage, of course, which is what we want. It can also be what I got here, which unfortunately was cold resistance. So it's only about a 1 in 100 chance to hit tier 1 cold. So you really are aiming for tier 1 or tier 2. Now at this point, of course, you have to sometimes annul. Because if your suffixes are filled, you have to do that in order to put back on prefixes cannot be changed. If you happen to hit, of course, on an annul, the fire or the lightning in this case, that you are rolling for, you have to start the essence spamming over. Very expensive, because each time 2 divine... Prefixes cannot be changed. You see here, we got very bad, low-tier cold damage, which is what's most likely to happen. I got this tease. I got a tier 3. I had to make the judgment call. Do I keep going for tier 2? I decided to keep the tier 3 because I got a high roll on the tier 3. I got over 1,300 sheeted LEDPS for people searching, so I decided to keep it. Now we add prefixes cannot be changed again, and we're going to hit it with a Veiled Chaos. That preserves the prefixes, needless to say. Now we're going to block some kind of damage over time multiplier. I just use a really cheap cold DOT multiplier to prevent that from being on the unveil. And um, I got all kind of things that were pretty decent on my first try, so I had to kind of think about it. Did I want accuracy rating? What you really want is attributes combined with critical strike chance, because it's a higher crit chance than you can benchcraft by itself, and you get the free attributes. Um, so I decided to just put this on just because I didn't have it. I just added it to my uh, to my bench. Um, I didn't plan to keep that. We don't want that. And at this point, of course, we have to do it again. And each time, it's a two divine. Prefixes cannot be changed. It's a very expensive craft. You'll find some other YouTubers. Um, they do this with a synthesized base, but then you have to try to hit plus two to all arrows, and um, it becomes so expensive that it's um, it's not the more cost-effective version that I'm doing here, which uses Fracture. Now here, um, I got what we wanted, finally, the one in the middle, but I got this double damage, which I had to kind of think about. I decided to not go with the double damage. I decided to roll with uh, what we were aiming for, get that crit chance up, because it's a tornado shot base. Now we put on attack speed. We want to get the attack speed up. 
and you have to hit this a few times and waste a few exalts until it gets to be 13. Now, we're not quite done. We need to change the quality because we don't care about physical damage. So we don't want the quality affecting our fizz damage. We want to go ahead and enchant so that we get more attack speed even. So it's done. If you want it to be done, it's basically done. However, this is Trial of the Ancestors League, so I decided, hey, it's not done. I bought a horribly overpriced Heinekora's Lock, 56 Divine at this point in the league, just for a Heinekora's Lock. How terrible, man. I wish I had farmed it. Since I had made the bow from scratch, I decided to take advantage of resource free allocation, contested development, and time dilation, which I so often go for, which makes it quite easy. It took me like 15 minutes to get a Locus of Corruption on my own without buying it. We're making this from scratch. So, we're going to put the Heinekora's lock on. Let's see what a plain vow would do. Uh, so as you can see, it would break it into a shitty rare. So a regular vow orb would break it. We can now predict this without, without burning the item. Let's see what the double corrupt would do. And fuck! Fuck me, look. What a waste of 56 divine, but at least we didn't break the item. I was hoping you can get Frenzy Charges, you can get an, an additional arrow, three additional arrows, you can get added Lightning, Cold, Fire, so many good Val Implicits. Um, however, now was time to check, hey, what would happen if I annulled? I would hit the Cold Damage, the Tier 3, I had to decide, I had to make the Judgment Call, do I want to annul off the Cold? We know it'll hit the Cold, I decided not to. However, I had this brilliant idea, let's remove the Crafted Mod, and let's see what an Exalt would do, maybe we'll get a Tier 1 Attack Speed. Let's see. Of course, it doesn't work because we removed the Benchcraft. That used up the Heinekor's Lock. So at this point, I just sold it as it was. I still got 110 Divine. 110 Divine's pretty good. Um, obviously, I was really hoping to hit some interesting Implicits. That would have made it incredible. Probably 200 plus Divine. But alas. 